got busy with the noise Crucify the boy, heathen with the slug Singing with the Drake, I told Timmy plenty times Hop on 95, bow it till I die They make a look at that commercial pull up Hey everybody, this is your fish friend Dustin. So we're gonna do a little walk around. Right here is the bagging table. These are saffron. So here's one of the saffron males that I'm growing out. He's got really good, good qualities to him. This is one male that will be for sale. This albino saffron will be the, the breeding male eventually. Two seventy-five gallons are doing really, really well. All these guys are growing very quick. In here we have sunshines and saffrons. Down here we have the red empress split gene. Some really good looking quality on them. And then uh, the uh, breeding activity in here just a little bit ago. The OB and the Sunshine Banga. They were spawning just a minute ago. the platinum dragon this is how we do a treat or a snack every once in a while red wigglers and throw them in the tank and that'll uh that'll usually spark some some spawning this guy this is a hybrid his parents were uh, a dragon blood and an ob so just what you'll get from these guys so he's colored down a little bit because this albino ob pink it's kind of the man of this tank, so. Dragon Bloods and put it in with him and we'll start that spawning group up. The uh, Saffrons, so I gave it more of a a neater aquascape not so much for spawning purposes but they're making do and uh, his three females are his offspring the two bigger females in the back were the ones that uh, I bought with him so the leopard geckos are making their uh, on the channel so that's pretty cool this is a stand I recently just built this is probably the very last stand. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted this one on on there. Here are the bushy nose plecos. 
Got a cool update about them. These guys are down here. The male's in that cave. So, moving on. 255s are over here, but dividers, you know. And uh, working on spawning over here. And the Demace and I on this side. Super big announcement on these guys. They had a successful spawn, finally. That's the way the fish room looks now. Just get some, I think these ones are red wigglers. And uh, two or three of them. <coughs> Give them a good rinse and feeding. when the females will get them because that'll help with their egg production so I'll throw another one in see who gets this one there we go they don't get them very often so they're kind of iffy on them Ooh. and they will steal them from each other so that's pretty funny to watch. Oh, the big blue. It smells the blood in the water. Look at this guy. <laughs> Alright, so that's what the fish room is looking like now. Couple more tanks. That's always a huge plus. And that's what it's like walking into the fish room now. Got my bagging table. Working out great. I was thinking about doing shelving up here, coming down from this brace, but maybe I'll do, I don't know. This space could be for some 10 gallons or a hospital tank. Let me know what you guys think. What should I do with this space? Should I have it for uh, packing material or more tanks? I do have a little corner back there that I could use for uh, shipping supplies. So. Alright, thanks for checking it out.